So we make sure that bad shit happens to people who do bad shit like that. And then we rescue these kids and then restore them. The restoration facility to be able to house 60 of those children for however long it takes. There's no timeline on what we do. If you come to me when you're four years old, uh, you will be on property, part of our program, as long as you want to be here up until you're 18 years old. So 14 years. It takes $7 million to build that facility and to staff it and operate it for the first year. To give you an example, the Department of Homeland Security, who has jurisdictional oversight on human trafficking, but who operates precisely zero restoration facilities, spends $357,000 per child per year. Caleb House construction cost is $117,000 per child, including the first year of operational expenses, OPEX. After the first year, our OPEX per child is $17,000, aka we're, I don't know, 2%, 1 to 2% of what DHS is spending with your taxpayer money in order to do the job that they're not doing in the first place. So that's Caleb House in a nutshell. And uh, we maintain teams in the field who are literally in the field right now, literally making sure that bad shit is going to happen to bad people. We have a victim services team that receives these kiddos after bad stuff has happened to them and begins the process of putting them together. Uh, we have house parents and then we have a, a legal team. We have trauma therapists, all of that. And we have attorneys, lots of attorneys, praise y'all. And it's a, uh, it's a lifelong process. This is, this is a life's work, both for me and for these kiddos. Um, but we're, we're all privately funded. And if you don't want to give me a dime, you don't have to, if you're not convicted to give me a dime, please don't. Uh, but if you are, if you'd like to plug in, you can learn more at Caleb house, Caleb with a K.org. And we have donor matching now through the 10th of July, 2024. And you've done you a great job of getting the word out, but for those of you who still didn't see it and you know, you're going to give Caleb house a donation this year anyway. I don't you know double you... your money in the next like three weeks. Yeah. So double Home... your money. Or four Homeland weeks. Security handles all those beds um, for the the government, right? How many beds are there total? I don't know if you said it in that. Yeah, there's 420 beds for juvenile human trafficking survivors nationwide. And while DHS has oversight over them, none of those are DHS beds. They are all 501c3 private organizations that provide those beds. And, and that's Caleb it. House is and that's it. And our goal is to get Caleb House One up and operational, which will provide 60 beds off the bat and then take lessons learned and processes learned and improve for Caleb House Two, Three, Nine, Seventeen, Sixty Seven, Eight Hundred and Sixty Three until we don't have to do this anymore. And what's super duper duper cool that I could have never forecasted or thought that this was going to happen what do you do with these kids after they're put back together again? Well, the answer is whatever they want. If they want to go into trade school, they go into trade school. If they uh, want to go into medical, they go into medical. If they want to go into military law enforcement, they go into that. What it, they, they're, they're like our children. What do you do with your kids? Whatever is best for them combined with what they want to do, right?